Hello, this is Nicholas Vandenbergen, and today I'm going to show you my castle that I built in Minecraft. So right now you can see an overview of the castle, and we're going to do a whole 360 around the castle to show you the basic construction of it. And now you can see that we're going around the castle. You can see the inner courtyard. Right now we're going in the inner gatehouse. You can see the pathway that goes down. And right now we're coming up on the outer gatehouse right there. As you can see now we're going to coming up to the first portcullis and right after that we have the second portcullis. The portcullis keeps out attackers that might want to get into the castle and make sure that the attackers cannot get up into the up into the uh, the main castle. Now we're going to go up these little steps on the right. You have the portcullises. We're going to go up these steps that lead us to a door inside this door we have a room now straight ahead you can see these death holes which we can which the defenders can use to drop projectiles on top of the invaders and now we can see that if we go outside this door we have a little overhang kind type of overview that we can watch the invaders as they approach the castle and the bridge you see we're looking around there we go back through the door and we have little stairs that meet us up into a center place which we have the two big towers that you could see from the front view. Each of these towers also has a higher level, but here you can see we have another overhang that helps us spy invaders also. On the other side, we have a mirror of what we had on the right side. So we have those death holes and we have a little balcony type of thing. Death holes are on the left. As you can see, we can drop projectiles back into them, just like on the other side. As you can see, we have some more death holes here. We have the stairs up there that lead us to that center part where we can see the two big towers, which I'm going to show you now. That's the two big towers. We can open the doors on each one. They're exactly identical, so you won't see anything different. We go up on top of the ladder. And as you can see, we have another type of spying spot, essentially, where we can spy on the enemy as we watch them come into our uh, castle. Here's the other tower. Go up the ladder. And we have the exact same thing, just exactly next to it, just as a different, so we can see the other side. Overhang where we can spy on the enemies. Go back down the ladder. Close the door. We go down the stairs. That was a bit quick. We go down the stairs. And now, right outside of one of the gatehouse towers, we have a little walkway that we can walk to a separate tower that you might see on the right. There we can also see the enemies, but right here on our right, we have another little tower, type of a checkpoint that we can check on people that are coming in. As you can see here, we're going through the out her gatehouse under the portcullises and what I'm going to show you now is basically the way to get into the castle. It's one long pathway so I'm going to turn up the volume. Please enjoy. As you can see we have stairs but on the left we can see we have another little pathway that leads us to the, that leads us to the tower over right in front of you as we're entering the tower you can see straight ahead we have or to the left straight ahead we have stairs if we follow up the stairs we can see that we're on top of the tower we can now view everything within miles
as you can see as we walk up here you can see two giant towers these are the towers of the inner gatehouse so if you make it through all this you still gotta go to through two portcullises and try to get in there so so as we can see we can see that there are stairs that lead up to this inner gatehouse and we can see that we have nine death holes that we can oops that we can drop projectiles on to the opposition and the attacking forces we also have two doors that lead into the two main towers in the inner gatehouse each one of them has a ladder to go to the top so we can see the enemy and each one's got a floor where you we can get to As we can see, we're entering a door here, and this door leads to a giant walkway all around the castle, basically. So we can shoot from all angles, in all directions, north, south, east, or west. As you can see, we're going through the portcullises and we're going into this walkway that brings us into the outer courtyard. So we're going into the outer courtyard and right away, you see three major buildings. On the right, we have the blacksmith shop. You can see there's an, the, uh, the anvils, the lava, and the water to cool down his weapons that he's making. That's the blacksmith shop. So now you can see that on the other side of the outer courtyard, we have the stables. We have the ho Here we have the horses that we use to defend our castle. And if we want to go attack someone else, we have a nice supply of horses for our soldiers. Now, in the middle is the well where we can draw water out of. This is very useful for when we're under siege that we can get water so we don't need to go outside. Now, there's a ladder here that makes us able to go up onto that little wooden platform. It allows us to shoot over that wall. But there's two doors over here. And these two doors lead to the barracks. So here are bunk beds which all the soldiers sleep in. So now you can see right ahead of us is our well, to the left of us is our blacksmith shop, and to the right of the stables. And then behind the well you have the barracks, which is right behind the well. But if you we go forward, we see that there's pretty steep, but not too steep, stairs. If we go up these stairs, we come into the inner courtyard. On the right, you have the place where people worship God, the chapel. If we open these doors, we walk into the most holy place in the castle. You have all the place where the people sit. You have the holy cross and painted glass. And you have the place where the priest sits and prays. Then you have some golden armor guys there. They're like skeletons. Scary. If we go back out through the doors, close the doors. And we go out, out into the inner courtyard. Straight ahead, we have the place where people eat and feast, called the Great Hall. All over the Great Hall, there are paintings. And right there in front of you, you see the throne where the king sits. All the other places are filled up with big tables where the peasants, craftsmen, and lord guests can sit to eat their lunch. 
And now, on the left of the Great Hall, you see that there's little doors that lead us into the kitchen. On the right, you have the chests where the, where the people in the kitchen keep their, thing, keep their food, and you have campfires to cook them on. These are blast furnaces in which they use the furnaces, which they use to cook their food. And here's the sink. But under the kitchen, there is the basement filled with barrels of storage food in case we go under siege. So that we can have reserves and we don't starve. Now we can see that above the doors to the kitchen, we, there's something else. There's a little wooden platform that we can go up to by stone stairs. And here we have the Lord's bedroom. As we can see, if we go down the stairs that lead to the Lord's bedroom, we are back into the feasting part of the Great Hall. On the left, you can see that there are, is a double door that leads to the chapel so they can worship before and after their wonderful feasty, feasty meals. If we go out of the Great Hall doors, we can take an, a look of an overview of the whole inner courtyard. We have the chapel, the great hall, and the kitchen or Lord's bedrooms. And right in front of the chapel on both sides, we have the cross and we have a big spire. Thank you for watching. This is Nicholas Vanderbruggen's castle. Goodbye.